Hi LEGO fans, we all know the LEGO store is a trove of LEGO goodness. They have loads of licensed sets and sometimes very expensive sets. But if you look beyond all that eye candy, sometimes you'll find a real gem. Here's a good example and today I'm going to be unboxing, speed building and reviewing set number 40187 flower display which retails for the incredible price of $5.99. This is a 100 piece set and a tiny little box. There's no minifigures, no movie tie-ins and no licensing here, just two flowers. I don't imagine I'm going to get many views on this video but I do like to document these more unusual sets. Even the Lego marketing people couldn't find very much to say about this. Paraphrasing from the website, say it the Lego way with these two buildable flowers featuring a rose and a daisy with interchangeable pots. Perfect for Valentine's Day, Mother's Day, or just because. In my case, I bought it just because it's $5.99. On the sides of the box we've got two pictures of the same flowers. And the back of the box is filled with uninspiring words and the usual warning not to feed Lego to the under threes. To figure out whether this is a bargain or not we're going to have to open up the box so let's go ahead. Here's everything that came inside the box. We've got two bags of Lego and two instruction leaflets, one for each flower. I'm going to go ahead and put together the Lego flower display and roll it up into a speed build. And here is a completed flower display. I really took my time over this build and these still only took me 14 minutes to put together. Naturally I had pretty low expectations for a 100 piece set at this price point, but this is actually quite a pretty thing. And to give you a sense of scale, here's a minifigure. The taller of the two flowers, the rose stands just over 5 inches high. And I think the scale is just enough to allow the right amount of detail and keep these flowers recognisable for the types that they are. This is the white and yellow daisy which is sitting in a perfect little red and gold pot. The construction of the stem is exactly the same as it is for the rose. We've got a green cone shaped element with round studs making up the stalk. And then there's a single leaf halfway up the stem. I'm not certain but I think this might be a new for 2018 piece. Each petal is made up of several Lego elements and then these are attached in an alternating fashion. Some of them are attached sideways and some are presented flat. This gives the daisy a really nice appearance simulating the texture of the real flower. The centre of the daisy as you'd expect is bright yellow and simply built from a radar dish and a 2x2 two two round plate. As I mentioned earlier the rose stands a little bit taller and I can't help but think that these would look fantastic if you got a bunch of these and put them into a display. I'm sure some people have already done that. The rose comes in this very simple white vase or vase depending on where you live and these are interchangeable between the two flowers. All you've got to do is unplug the stem and plug the other one in. The stem and the leaf are identical to the daisy and we've got an equally intricate and aesthetically pleasing head to the rose. This looks great in the bright red colour which really pops against the green stem. We've got two longer petals petals in the middle and then four petals arranged around the outside which gives it a really cool look. Okay, if you're anything like me, you're probably wondering why would LEGO make this? It's definitely not the most exciting set in the world, but it is very cheap. I think the kind of people who might buy this are people like me who are fascinated by LEGO and how to build models, but also casual LEGO buyers who might be buying this as a little gift for somebody. I mean at $6 this is good value for money, you can't buy a very good bunch of flowers for $6 these days. I also bought this because of the curiosity factor. I definitely enjoy having a poke around in the LEGO store and I love it when I can find something like this which I can pick up inexpensively. And above all it was very cool building this and learning some of the techniques that go into making flowers out of Lego. So that was set number 40187, the what else do you call it but flower display. I hope you enjoyed this slightly different unboxing, speed build and review video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like down below and subscribe for more awesome Lego content. And I promise next time I will show you loads of minifigures and guns and all the stuff you like. Thanks for stopping by, have an awesome day and we'll see you on the next build video. 